So you may remember the dramatic pictures of a fireball lighting up the night sky in Gloucestershire. This was back in February. Now, it was a rare meteorite that crashed into a driveway, onto a driveway, and it's now going on display at the National History Museum when it reopens on Monday. Scientists hope some of the recovered fragments could reveal how life started on our planet, as science correspondent Rebecca Morell now reports. Blazing across the night sky at 50,000 kilometres an hour, the dramatic arrival of the UK space rock. And some of it ended up here, burnt into the Wilcock family's driveway in Winchcombe, Gloucestershire. Look at the incredible dent mm. in that. I mean, yeah. that's, this is tarmac, so it's solid. It's a solid drive, yeah. isn't it? It's the kind of thing, if that had, had hit you, or if it hit it would your hurt. car, it would, <laughs> it would really hurt, wouldn't it? <laughs> Now, though, the family has a chance to see the meteorite again. It has a new home alongside the Natural History Museum's most prized minerals. It's mind-blowing. <laughs> <laughs> that was on our drive, and now it's in the Natural History Museum in London. Um, I, I, I can't describe it. I can't mm. describe it. And well, now we've got lots of people who will be able to come and see it, so it's mm. just wonderful. Why did it land on our drive? You know, why, why it could have landed a few metres away and landed in the hedge and we would never have seen it. You know, there are so many uh, unbelievable coincidences. These two meteorites in conjunction allow us to look inside a planet. Which there are thousands of space rocks in museum collections, but the fragments of the Winchcombe meteorite are exceptionally rare. They're from something called a carbonaceous chondrite, the first one that's been found in the UK. Winchcombe is very special because it is one of the most pristine materials that we have available on Earth to study. And the thing that's really good about this particular case is that we saw it fall and so we can use that fireball to kind of track back the trajectory work out where in the solar system it came from these little fragments of rock might not look like much but they contain some of the oldest material in our solar system dating to more than four and a half billion years ago before the planets even formed it's like holding a pristine time capsule that could shed light on our very beginnings Pieces of the meteorite are being sent to scientists all around the world. X-ray studies here will reveal exactly what it's made of. And the materials that are in there are basically the ingredients, the building blocks of our solar system. So it contains things like organic, really simple organic materials. It contains minerals that contain uh, water. And so it's a really important tool for understanding how we ended up with an Earth like we have. So why do we have oceans here on the Earth? Um, why do we end up with life here? Scientists hope this space rock could answer these fundamental questions, thanks to the flash of luck that brought it down in the UK. Rebecca Morell, BBC News.